entrance anaphon. Blessed are all who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. By the labor of your hands you shall eat. Blessed are you, and blessed will you be. Hallelujah. We gather in prayer on this feast of St. Joseph the Worker, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. We gather as God's people to celebrate God's love and offer worship, and mindful of our sins, we ask God for grace and pardon. We pray, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, who pray for me, Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, creator of all things, who laid down for the human race a law of work, graciously grant that by the example of St. Joseph, under his patronage, we may complete the works you set for us to do and attain the rewards you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air and the cattle, over all the wild animals and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the divine image, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant over all the earth, and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it for your food, and all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground. I shall give the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made and he found it was very good. Evening came and morning followed the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth and all their array were completed. Since on the seventh day God was finished with the work he had been doing, God rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it he rested from all the work he had done in creation. The word of the Lord. The response of the song, Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Before the mountains were begotten, and the earth and the world were brought forth, from everlasting to everlasting you are God. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. You turn men back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. Lord, Give success to the work of our hands. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. 
Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servant. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Let your work be seen by your servants, and your glory by their children. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord day by day, God our salvation, who bears our burdens. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogues. They were astonished and said, Where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary, and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Are not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all this? And they took offense at all this. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his native place, in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. On this first day of May, I pray a very blessed and holy May Day. I'm sure May Day brings up all kinds of different traditions, different thoughts and ideas. And so for the church, we want to honor St. Joseph the Worker. It was in 1955, sometime after the World War I, communism was coming to the front with its ideas about work and so forth. And the church saw the trouble with communism. And so too, it wanted to celebrate the worker uh, celebrate the dignity of work and labor. And so the uh, Pope, Pope Pius XII, looked to St. Joseph, the worker, the carpenter, as an example of humble um, work, humble doing God's will. St. Joseph can be for us uh, an example, a, a model, of humbly accepting God's grace, our duty to work. Many popes, many theologians throughout the ages have worked upon the dignity of work. It is our, in a sense, our share in creation. As we hear in the first reading, we share, in a sense, with God's grace, with God's blessing in creation, and we can create. We all have a desire to make something, whether of service or of physical thing. It is through our creation that we join, building up God's kingdom, bringing something beautiful, hopefully, into the world. And so St. Joseph, again, can be a, a model for us. That there is dignity to work, to labor. As at times, work can be seen as a, a burden. But if we allow God's grace, it can be a, a redeeming part of our life that we share, that we can create, to be part of God's creation. So we can thank St. Joseph, we can look to St. Joseph as a, a model who humbly accepted God's grace, the ability to work, to participate in God's creation. So may St. Joseph inspire us to continue humbly doing God's will and working to build up God's kingdom.
Let us now offer our prayers and our petitions. For all who seek the truth, and for all who guide truth seekers, we pray the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civil authorities, for all who work toward the common good of peace and justice, we pray the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, the unemployed, and for all who struggle to make ends meet, we pray the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who try to walk in the way of the Lord, for all who have strayed from the path, we pray the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For blessings and graces for all those who work, for those who seek to work, they that always cooperate with God's blessings, we pray the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have special needs, especially the sick and the suffering for the homebound, let this day be a day of consolation and healing, we pray the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all present in our homes, that we continue to give God glory and praise, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed of our families, our parish, and those dear to us, for the intention of this Mass, may they all enjoy the glory of eternal life in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, you open our eyes to your Son. Hear our needs and grant them according to your will. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, font of all mercy, look upon our offerings, which we bring before your majesty, in commemoration of St. Joseph, and mercifully grant that the gifts we offer may become the means of protection for those who call upon you, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, eternal God. And on the commemoration of St. Joseph, you give to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as a spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. 
To whom the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and virtues of heaven and the blessed seraph, worship to the exaltation. May our voices be joined with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy their whose gifts we pray by sending in your spirit upon them like the dewfall. They may become for us the body and blood of Christ Jesus, our Lord. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks for it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us word to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Carl, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command of form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wake with blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word of my soul shall be. We now pray and act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament, and I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I can at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Read an antiphon. Whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord, giving thanks to God through him. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by St. Joseph's example, cherishing in his heart the sign of your love, we may ever enjoy the fruits of perpetual peace through Christ our Lord. Again, I pray a very special and holy May Day as we continue to praise God in these days of spring and these days of Easter. So a blessed May Day to all. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is in.